Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. This is Rosie Rosette 2020 and it is July 15th, tax day. They gave us an extension. So you guys, you got to either turn them in or get um, an extension. I think until October. Okay. Anyway, so that being said, let's talk about Trump redirecting data from the hospitals to the CDC. So he wants, in essence, for the hospitals to send all of their information to the White House or to the government. But isn't the CDC, isn't that a form of government or is it private? See, but his, his oh boy, didn't he appoint the person who is in charge of the CDC, who had scandals with the AIDS epidemic and handling certain issues with that years ago, but yet he's appointed to the CDC. And now his, his friend, Trump, wants that information redirected to the White House. Why? Why? Trump wants those schools to open. Okay, the CDC, under his friend's leadership, is saying that shouldn't happen. We're not ready. If you open up those schools with the kids, like the video I made, what, in the past 20, 48 hours, the rates are going to go up. Now, granted, the rates are going up, but the deaths are not matching the rates okay I think there's like probably 3.5 million people who have passed away from the coronavirus but there's like I'm not gonna say only but a hundred and thirty four thousand okay now normally I think 65,000 people die a year from the regular flu I think the, project, the projection number for the coronavirus deaths, and I hope I'm not one of them. I mean, I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. I, I hope I don't die from corona. I don't have it, you know, not yet, but I hope I don't, I don't get it. I don't want it. I think I've already had it last year, November, but, you know, whatever. Um, I think it's going to be over 200,000. If people in Florida you know, feel as if they can go about wearing, not wearing masks and parlaying on the beaches and going to bars, open bars or whatever, people in Atlanta or people in LA, I, you know, LA County has the highs they have, I think 137,000 cases in LA County alone, in LA County alone. Okay. Um, so, you know, if people can't wear masks or shelter in place, it's gonna be over 200,000 people who die. Okay, but that's only mask and shelter in place. If you bring the kids back to the schools, you know, kids, they already have a lot of bacteria going on. They wanna to touch, feel, they gotta to touch each other. You know, the, the pencils, the door handles, the desk, you know, they're changing classes or whatever. They're walking, they're touching everything. They have to play in the playground. You know, they're sweaty, they're kids. That's what kids do. You know how when you have young kids, they're sick, you're sick, you know, you gotta go to work sick, you gotta take them to the hospital because they're sick. They've caught this bug, they've caught that bug because they're playing with bugs in the park and all that. There's nothing wrong with being kids, okay? There is nothing absolutely wrong with being a kid. There's nothing wrong with being a kid and going to school. You have to go to school. We can't raise a country of big dummies. No, we can't. You have to learn how to read, write, speak, walk, talk, socialize, you know, fight, not fight, you know, listen to the teacher, sit in your place, you know. You have, you, those are just social skills that you have to learn in order to get along in the world, in America in 2020. But we have a pandemic, pandemic, sorry, I'm chewing gum. 
but I have to because it's hot. It gets hot in this garage and you know, my mouth gets dry. I don't have something to drink or whatever and I'll get overheated. So I have to keep my mouth moisturized. So that being said, so why is Trump redirecting information to go to the, the CDC from the CDC to the White House? Why would the White House need that information? Is it so that they can, you know, correct the numbers? Like who has, who would have ever thought that a president would mandate for hospitals to send data, data regarding, you know, diseases or viruses to the White House? The White House is the White House. It's not the CDC. It should not take, it should not handle that type of information for what? Is this, you know, a chemical warfare? I also heard that Trump fired the entire staff regarding this pandemic from the White House. So who is taking care of all of this? Like Trump, what are you doing? I told you to step up and take, you know, your lead, but you can't lead us to hell. Like we all don't want to die. I told you to get your geniuses in a room and figure it out, but this is not the solution. See, you guys let the country open up again. You know, the numbers were, except for New York the numbers were low. You let the country open up because of those people that, you know, ran the, the state capitals in every state and demanded it to be open. Okay, so you know what? Let them people, let their kids go back to school, okay? Let those people teach who demanded, you know, or the people who don't wanna wear masks, let them sign that little waiver. If they want the kids to go back to school, they want everything to open up, go ahead and sign the little waiver. You guys handle everything. You guys go to the bars and party or whatever, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Just make sure, don't fill up, don't take up any rooms in the hospitals when you need a ventilator. Waive your right, your rights to obtain a ventilator in the case, in the event that you come down with the coronavirus, okay? Go ahead, go to the bars, go send your kids to school, you know. Now also, I need you to specify that if a teacher gets sick with coronavirus, that you pay for the funeral costs and the hospital bills, okay? No, 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 go ahead. You don't have to wear a mask if you don't want to. No, no, we're just in a pandemic and we have three million people in our, no, no, no. No, not three million people. That's the world. Oh, shit. We have 300 and... How much do we have? Shit. Is it three million in the country? Whatever, we have a lot. No, it is three million. Yes, it is three million because we have 150... Yeah, it is three million. Is it three million? I don't know. Anyway, you have millions of people. Yeah, we do have three million. 3.5? Shit, is that the country or the world? Look, look at my other video. It's late at night. We have a pandemic in this country. We are the leading country in the world. The most powerful country in the world. But we can't handle a pandemic. And then you want Biden, who can't even handle his own family, to take over. Like, I don't know if it's sugar to shit. I don't know what is going on. Like, our country is becoming the laughing stock of the world. We are the leaders in this pandemic. We have the most cases, the most deaths. You know, we have, what we're going neck to neck. We're, no, we're past, we're, we're leading with Brazil, Brazil. Brazil is damn near a third world country, and I know that's not politically correct to call them a third world country, but when you, you know, when you compare both, we have so many resources, so many more resources than Brazil. 
I shouldn't have gum in my mouth. It gets all stuck in my teeth. Anyway, no, this can't be happening. Trump, why are you redirecting data information from the hospital, from the CDC to the White House? What are you going to do with that information? You're going to do some Russian, you know, Vladimir Putin stuff. The same thing that happened with the, um, the election. You're going to get the Russians, allegedly, to, you know, move the numbers around so that it's favor favorable for you. Favorable for you. Favorable for you. You can't do that. You can't do that. Come on, dude. You're taking too many notes from Vladimir. I used to love me some Vladimir, too. Ooh, Vladimir Putin. God, I thought he was. Mm. But no, dude, you don't, you don't want to... You don't want to go that route. And I heard that, you know, he has you by the balls because he has some stuff on you that you don't want to be let go, whatever. But don't kill us all. That's between you and him. Y'all take care of that or whatever. But don't kill us. We don't need too many people dead because of some rift that you and that something that he has on you, some tapes or whatever, allegedly, that that man has on you. That's between you and him. That's between Vladimir and Donald. Not Russia and USA. No, 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 no. Keep that stuff for whatever. But listen, you need to take some notes from who's doing good. People in Cuba, and I know you got a problem with Cuba, but what's the, what is this? North, no, South Korea has no case. No, Japan. Japan. They're doing very well. Take some notes from people, from countries that are, are, are being successful in keeping the numbers down because your rhetoric, it, it, it's trash. Come on, dude, you're about to be ousted. You don't wanna have this legacy under your name. The president that killed 200,000 people. Like, think. Do you really want that as your legacy? Donald Trump, you used to be the man, what happened? I get it, you don't have experience, but that's where you surround yourself with people that do. You don't need to have experience. What you need to do is surround yourself, get the people that know what they're doing and let them do it. You just, you're just the shot caller.